fighting mental illness in any form or fashion. What's up everybody? I'm Luke with Ride Bikes More and today I am in San Antonio, Texas. Remember to follow if you're not already following on YouTube and Instagram because it makes you feel good. Mm. I am here with Raquel. Thanks for inviting me out to this ride. Tell us about the ride. How did it start? I'm actually the president. I'm the one who founded it right after the pandemic started uh, in March of 2021. When the pandemic started, I went to work, uh, found out I had lost uh, my job because of the pandemic because I was working in the Edgewood School District. Uh, Sorry and, to hear that. Yeah, and then, but I had a second job, so I'm like, yes, at least I have my second job to pull me through. I get home later that day and receive an email that I lost that job too. So then I said, okay, well, I'll file for unemployment. So before I got through unemployment, it took like three weeks before I even got through the line. And I was just getting through the line, and I was getting real depressed. I have my husband who was maintaining, he was trying to, you know, I'm, I, it's just me. I got paranoid and with everybody getting laid off, I said they're going to run out of money. But I was falling into a deep depression. So I had an old mongoose bike in my backyard that had been sitting there collecting dirt, dust, everything for about two years. Um, and um, so I took it to get fixed, to have it checked, and I started riding. So I would ride by myself. So 210 Cycle Riders started with just one person, which was me. So I rode a couple of months like that, and people would call my husband and say, you know, it's dangerous for her to be riding by herself. And it, although I was doing in the trails, they were still worried. So they would call my husband. And then one of my um, friends from middle school, Maria, um, said, I'll ride with you. And then my daughter's best friend, Monica, said, oh, I'll ride with you too. So then there was three. And then another friend of mine, Joe, said, oh, well, I'll ride too. So then it became four of us. So then uh, all of a sudden, you know, my husband goes, God, you're really getting into this. So he brought me my first bike, my first official real bike. And I mean by real bike because that mongoose, it was, it was heavy and it was hard to ride. But I did it for a long time. And then uh, there was days that I didn't have anybody to ride with. So there I was back to square one. And I would just post. I would go live by myself and I would post by myself and I would say 210 cycle rider. Um, you know, and and every it just became two ten cycle riders, and so then my husband jo then my husband joined me because he didn't want me riding by myself, and then I would just post on Facebook. I would just post daily, and, and I would tell anybody, invite anybody who wanted to come who didn't want to ride by themselves, and. Uh, so you have social media. How can people find you on that social media? It's a uh, hashtag two ten cycle riders, and cycle riders. Uh, people will look for it for riders with an S, but it's actually with a Z at the end cycle riders and the reason the name came from because I was getting depressed I felt like I was <laughs> I was going cycle so that's why it's 210 cycle riders right I, I, I know and I believe that there's a lot of mental benefits from riding bikes so I get that mm -hmm. oh yes uh, people thought I was uh, riding bikes to lose weight because I was a lot heavier when I started and um, I was actually writing to ease my mind, to get away from that, you know, like I said, I was falling into depression and it felt just, everything felt so heavy and riding bikes just, I don't know, it just eases your mind, it takes everything away, you know. Great story. Is there another message you want to give to people that are watching? Um, I would say if you're fighting mental illness in any form or fashion, um, Find something outdoors, you know, the great outdoors, whether it's riding a bike, taking a hike, or even doing a walk, you know, find it, because um, you're gonna find peace from it, and you're gonna find clarity, and it just takes all the stress away, so. Would, would you say that San Antonio is a bike-friendly city? Oh, very friendly, very friendly. Um, there's a lot of different groups uh, that I've become familiar with. We invite 210 cycle riders, it just isn't 210 cycle riders, there's different groups here today. Uh, the Lobster Crews here uh, will pop up Social Ride was, was the one who referred you to us. And uh, Shout out to Pop-Up Social Ride San Antonio. Team Taco, uh, Left Hand, uh, Major Taylor, there are some of them that ride with us. And, you know, it, we're a cycle, we consider ourselves a cycle family. So, um, would you say your ride is a drop ride or no drop ride? No drop ride. Uh, we're also, my husband and I are also military parents. We have an army vet son and we have an army soldier currently serving. 
So no, no man left behind, it applies to 210 cycle riders. Is there any more shout outs you want to give? Uh, yes, um, just to the uh, Jeff Moore from SA Texas Social Ride. Uh, I remember back in 2010, he was the first bike group I ever heard about. And um, he, uh, I rode with him and it was beautiful. He still has a beautiful, he has like over 200 riders on Tuesdays and it's a beautiful, awesome group. Uh, also a uh, team, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Three Feet. Three Feet, I think it's called Three Feet. Uh, Walter, Walter, uh, he uh, is passing a lot of laws where the, the cars are, to stay away like three feet and give us space. So I'm learning a lot from a lot of uh, cycling groups. So uh, in two years, it'll be two years in May that we've been in existence. Nice, nice. So. Special thanks to Irma for holding the camera. I really appreciate that. Is there any other messages you want to give to people in the cars or people that are thinking about riding the bike? Um, don't be scared. Uh, we started on trails. Uh, I was, we were real scared of roads before. But now we love the roads. We love, uh, for those who are driving, if y'all just give us some, some space, you know, we'll respect, we, oh, we respect all traffic laws. We stop at all stop signs and, and lights. And those who are driving, if they'll just give us some space, we're not doing this every day, but you know, uh, we try to move fast and we have a beginner's group and we have a, more advanced groups. We start, we have our rides Monday through Wednesdays. After Wednesdays, we have random rides and we post them on our social media page. Awesome message. I could not have said it better. Raquel, thank you so much for inviting me out and having me on the ride. For Ride Bikes More, I'm Luke and we are out.